Hello guys, welcome back to episode 5 of our Let's Play KW series. Uh, we continue right where we left off, uh, just starting off Upper City, uh, the like third part of the Warfold I think. Uh, yeah, so in this episode we're going to be finishing off the second Lord of Chaos, uh, Chaos Lord Varth, which is pretty cool. I said in the last episode I like this guy, but I guess while we're in this cutscene, I'll just remind you guys that new episodes every Tuesday and Friday, because I, I had a couple of comments asking, you know, When's the next episode coming out? So yeah, Tuesdays and Fridays, guys. You know, we want to try and keep it consistent uh, for now anyway. You know, maybe that schedule will change in the future, but for now, it is going to stay like that. Also, thank you for all the support. Uh, it's really great to see all of you watching the videos. And yeah, now we're uh, just into this quest here. Six Assassin's Hoods. Um, for some reason, I've still got this invisible cape on. There we go. Uh, kind of weird, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, this room actually, yeah, was pretty useful for the Six Assassin's Hood, obviously, because there's two of them in here. Um, we're literally continuing right off from the last episode, so, you know, nothing new has happened in between. I haven't got any new stuff. Uh, still level 15, Mage rank 7. Although you can see, we're pretty close to rank 8. So, yeah, happy days. That's, uh, that's you know, that's what we're up to. Uh, anyway, that quest is complete. Now we've got to get some Draconian Claws. Uh, and you can see again, like, I, I don't know if it auto-equips the, like, invisible cape every time you accept a quest or turn in a quest or something. But, yeah, no, it was kind of annoying. Uh, obviously, there's no harm in having the invisible thing on. But I thought it would probably be easier for you guys to follow if you could see uh, my character. So, yeah. We did get a drop there, Draconian Wings and the Blade. Uh, you know, they're both nice. It's just super annoying that, you know, we can't uh, equip them. But, yeah, you can see I do end up uh, declining it. But now we've got to get these 12 cracked eggs. And I start off by killing one here. And then I think I remember that in the next room, yeah, you can see there's three of them. So that was like super convenient that I remembered about that. Uh, and, you know, we can just stand here and use our ranged attack and finish them off. We did just hit major rank 8, which is cool. Uh, but, yeah, let's super quickly get through this. Obviously, sped up to 400% uh, when we're fighting monsters. And, yeah, there we go. Interesting, you only get like 50 dwarf holder reputation for turning these things in. Like... This is definitely one of the longer ones. Luckily, like, you don't need anything with Dwarfold Reputation, I guess. So, it's not really an issue. But, yeah, it's pretty terrible, to be honest. But now we're just onto this Pterodactyl. Uh, I actually managed to kill him myself this time. Obviously, like, last episode, uh, we had to get the main account to come and help. But in this episode, we won't be doing that. I can confirm. Uh, I didn't really want to... I didn't really want to do that, but yeah, we, we ended up being able to solo him anyway, so it wasn't too much of an issue. Uh, now we got to kill three beetles, get three beetle glands. Uh, you can see it's not 100% drop chance, which was uh, kind of annoying. Uh, and also it was kind of annoying because I'm in this room where there's only one. Uh, but I realised later on that there's a room like two to the right that has two of them in there. So I could have done this quest way quicker. Uh, but oh well, you can see uh, there's a double class boost going on right now, server class boost. Uh, which is probably why we're ranking up mage so quickly, to be completely honest. Uh, but yeah, anyway, there's that quest complete. Now on to the next one. Where we just got to kill the lizard. So you can see here, this is the room where I meant there were two beetles. So I, I was running for here, I was like, oh damn it. Could have done it in here. But, <laughs> oh well. We're pretty close to levelling up as well, which is cool. I can't remember whether we level up in this episode. But yeah, there's actually, at the time of recording, there's a double server boost. So I think today, once I, once I got my work done... Uh, I'm probably going to grind out a bunch of Chaos Lords uh, and pre-record a bunch of episodes. Just so, you know, if we do it while double XP is active, then we'll be able to level up much quicker. Uh, but yeah, we literally just survived that fight there with like 100 HP remaining. Uh, and here, yeah, we go to Gavath's Keep. Now, I was kind of confused here, to be honest, because I sort of thought you'd have to accept a quest, but you don't. So yeah, we just ran up straight to uh, the fake Chaos Lord and get captured in the very large bird cage. Not sure why they've just got one of them to hand, but we won't question it. Uh, and then you can see the the, uh, the drow. It is a drow, isn't it? Yeah, it is a drow. Uh, who we were with in Upper City now gives us our stuff. But yeah, now we're in Dwarf Prison, uh, which is pretty cool. Moving on to the next area nice and swiftly. Just getting through it. Getting through it nice and fast. Originally this episode, the, the, the recording for episode 5 is 35 minutes long. And I was like, oh god, how the hell am I going to put all this into an episode? Uh, and try and keep it between like 10 and 12 minutes. Uh, but luckily, a massive chunk at the beginning is actually at the end of episode 4. Uh, which did help a lot. Uh, 
Because, yeah, honestly, I was like, there's no way people are going to sit through, like, that much. Uh, so, yeah, no, we were okay in the end. But, yeah, now we're just doing this quest. Uh, kill the bad boas, get the claws, magnesium flare. Pretty easy quest. Oh, I do end up running out of mana, which makes it take a little bit longer. But we do get there eventually. I do like these dwarf old maps, to be honest. I think they look quite cool. And um, quite unique as well. Like, we don't really see very many, like, cave maps like this. Uh, but they do get recycled a lot. Uh, actually, I was doing, um... When I was recording... When I was recording... I don't know what recording is. When I was recording my, uh... Frost Spirit Reaver class guide, the, um... I realised that, like, the map for Cryo War, I think it is, where you kill supercharged Karok, is literally just copy and paste of the entire, like, Upper City map and, and Slash Join Varth map. Uh, except for like slightly recolors, so yeah. But I get to the boss here, and then uh, I get my boy Drexen to come and help. So, you know, this time, this time we haven't got to, uh, we haven't got to get HBR to come and help because uh, Drexen was at hand, luckily. So shout out Drex. Uh, you guys are familiar with him by now. He's in basically all my videos and all my streams, helping out. So yeah, and then this Rexar bloke also came and helped, uh, just randomly, uh, which was cool. I think he was farming Lord of Order. I haven't found Lord of, Lord of Order, so I wasn't really sure what he was on about. But he did offer uh, he did offer to help uh, if we ever need it. So uh, thank you very much. It's really nice to see you know just players offering to help out. Uh, I don't know whether he thought I was a new player or not, but either way, yeah, it was super cool. Glad to see you know people are helping. Uh, and yeah, no, I did I did like I did let Drax know before this episode that I might need his help with a couple of the bosses. Uh, which is quite funny, but yeah, now now we're into this bit, and you can see all I need is this nitrate elements, and I was convinced it dropped from the Balboa, uh, which was just an idiotic play in the end, because it just didn't, it drops from the albino bat, uh, so I keep killing the Balboas, and just by coincidence I kill an albino bat uh, in a minute, and it drops, and I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm such an idiot, because I sat there for like a minute just killing Balboas, uh, but there we go, there's the quest complete, now we blow ourselves out like so and yeah run straight out without saying thank you or anything so pretty rude of our hero but oh well and you can see yeah I was just reading the like snowbid text because obviously in the last cutscene he betrayed us but it would appear he, it would appear he he didn't uh, but anyway he just he did it for the free gold and then uh, betrayed Varth anyway but whatever we aren't complaining now we go back to Varth and just do this uh, cool cutscene I like this cutscene a lot. I actually use it in our YouTube intro because uh, it's quite funny, and the Ben 10 reference there as well. And then, of course, we jump onto Stalag and get into the mini game, um, which you can skip. You just have to like exit out AQW and go to like slash join Rock, and you'll be able to continue as normal. But I do give it a try, uh, and you can see straight away I'm getting absolutely smoked. I can't lie; I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, I've got like 600 HP, so 500 HP now. So yeah, it's not looking too promising. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, no, I sort of like, and then I realised like, oh damn, I'm gonna die. So I need to be a bit more careful. Like I'm so low. So yeah, we play it much more cautiously. And then he's so weak, and we've got 150 HP. Uh, but yeah, we do manage to close it out in the end, just with like 100 HP remaining. So yeah, I think honestly that was probably the first time I've actually completed that mini game. Uh, <laughs> I remember back in the day it being so hard, but I probably just didn't read the instructions properly. And then because I messaged Drex and asked him for a bit of help, and then this other guy turns up. So I'm like, sick, I'll start attacking, and this guy will help me finish him off. And then he just doesn't attack at all. Like, I don't know, he just came here and then went AFK, I guess. So I literally, yeah, 50 HP, and then out of nowhere, Drex turns up and one-shots him. So we survived with 50 HP, which was kind of clutch. Uh, and yeah, there's the Chaos Beast defeated. Definitely not as cool as the Hydra, to be honest. It's not the coolest Chaos Beast, but whatever. I think Stalagbite would actually be is way cooler, uh, but yeah, see, <laughs> I'm just messaging Drax saying he saved me 50 HP. Uh, but now we head to uh, to defeat Varth, um, and I quite like this cutscene actually. It makes me laugh because he's like, "Oh yeah, yeah you want to like catch a breath?" So, yeah, it's quite funny. It kind of weirds me out that Varth's holding the weapon in the wrong hand there, but whatever. Uh, and that's it. And then we fight him, and then I go to attack him, and Drax just one shots Varth. So I'm like, okay. Uh, so I wait for him to defeat Stalagbite, and then when they respawn, I'll attack him again, is my mindset. And then he defeats Stalagbite, and boom, we just get the cutscene, even though uh, even though we didn't even attack him. 
So I'm like, okay, this is kind of weird. Uh, so yeah, we play through the entire cutscene, because obviously you can't skip them. We destroy the dragon amulet, uh, and then Varth gets taken away. And that basically wraps up the Dwarfold saga. So now I'm actually so confused, and you can see I've done all the quests for Varth, so even though I didn't actually defeat him myself, uh, the game thinks we defeated him. So yeah, happy days, but <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, that's it for this video, so thank you very much for watching if you made it this far. Uh, like and subscribe if you're new, and yeah, happy days. See you all in a bit. You're